Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zonkey, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill Dark Beast as a Slayer task. And Dark Beast are actually the best Slayer XP in the game at the moment, killing them with Dragors. Um, if you don't have Dragors, they're still pretty darn good XP if you use range, etc., since that's what they're weak to. But if you are killing them properly, they are the best XP in the game. So I'm going to be showing you how to kill them properly in this video. We're going to be killing them, killing them in the Curadel's dungeon, which I feel is the most effective place to kill them, unless you want to cannon, which doesn't make it that much faster. So anyway, in your inventory, just have your Slayer Ring, your Extreme Set or Super Set, um, your Teleport out to bank and all that, and a Bone Crusher, which is pretty important, and a Charming Imp, which is still fairly important, um, but not as much of a necessity. I would highly recommend to have a Bone Crusher, Dry Gores, and a demon horn necklace to do this task properly because that's going to make it um, the amount of XP per hour that it is. Just quickly throw in some statistics at you. It is 139,000 Slayer an hour as well as 700,000 total XP per hour. That is Slayer plus melee plus um, summoning XP from the charms that you get. So it is absolutely spectacular XP per hour, the best out of any Slayer task. Um, that's why I absolutely love getting this task. So anyway, for gear, I'm just wearing Bandos, a Tokar Cal, a full Slayer helmet, Colon Mancer Gloves 10, Dragon Boots, since, you know, defense really is not needed here at all, and of course, Ferocious Ring for the uh, damage bonus in the Curadil's Dungeon. So, as I said, Dragors are the best. Um, if you don't have Dragors, just wear a Royal Crossbow and Armadil or Royal Dehyde, or if you have Chaotic Crossbows, those can work as well. Um, however, I would recommend getting Dragors for Slayer if you can afford them and plan on slaying seriously and getting the best experience per hour, because that's the best way to do it. So in Cardell's Dungeon, the Dark Beasts are right before the Iron Dragons. If you've never been that far into the dungeon, of course, and if you have 90 agility, you can use this uh, Wall Run, which is one of the most useful shortcuts in the game. I use it all the time and the Dark Beasts are right in here. So the method of killing them is basically using basics and try to get up to the Destroy and Assault and Berserk abilities as quickly as possible. With most Destroy and Assault times that you attack, um, you can kill them as fast you can kill them in one ability. And also, um, since you have the Bone Crusher and the Demon Horn Necklace equipped, um, that means that every time you kill Dark Beasts it drops Big Bones, so that's going to give it 100 free prayer XP. Which means that if you do this correctly, you can pray you can pray consistently and never have to worry about prayer pots or anything, so you can just use Soul Split and Turmoil, which is the method of healing up. Of course, these are some fairly high level requirements, but if you're going to slay properly, this is by far the best way to do it, and I want to show you guys the most efficient way to do tasks and etc. So, we're going to try to get up to Berserk as quickly as possible. As you see, they give a fair amount of Slayer XP per kill, 330 Slayer XP per kill, and um, 1,142 total XP per kill, and you kill them so fast that it really adds up to be a lot per hour. I'm just going to use my Berserk ability, and quite often you can kill them in only two hits with the Berserk ability, which is so great, because you hit 4,000, 5,000 fairly often while Berserking with Drygors, so um, you really just kill these things so fast. And um, the task just goes on like this. Uh, there's not much else to it. The drops are not the best. Um, w the only good thing that Dark Beasts have is the Dark Bow drop. That is their unique drop. However, this is only worth about Alk price in the GE at the moment, which I believe is around 75k. So that's not worth a whole lot. Uh, one thing worth noting is Dark Beasts have one of the best drop rates for rare drop table items in the game. Um, so you'll find every couple tasks you're actually going to be getting a rare drop. I got a noted battle staffs drop, which was 200 noted, ba noted battle staffs. My last task here, uh, and you're going to find that happens fairly often. So you can get stuff like palm tree seeds or um, noted battle staffs, stuff like that. Lots of dragon daggers as well. But anyway, that's going to happen a lot, and you can possibly get lucky and make some money from that. But anyway, thanks for watching this guide. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the best Slayer XP in the game, and uh, hopefully, you can get this task a lot yourself because it's very worth it.